Last week, an officer in Western Florida was caught choke slamming a young black man when he wasn't physically resisting. Let's show you more. Hey, Baldwin, just listen. I'll tell you what it is, it's assault. No earthly reason for it, it's assault. 22 year old Khalil Pace sitting peacefully at a rec center when he was slammed by Deputy Patrick Keegan of Broward Sheriff's Office. Pace was being detained following an alleged weed smoking session leading up to the attack. The Sheriff's Office booked him on charges of resisting arrest without violence and disorderly conduct. Say what now? Okay. The conflict began when Pace and his friend were accused of smoking marijuana in a bathroom at the Bonaventure Town Center Club. The pair were meeting up with buddies at the gym for a workout. They paid to get in, according to Pace. One of the employees was like, Do you guys have a weed pen? You guys smell like smoke. The inspector employee, apparently. That's the account from Pace. We were like, No, we just went to the restroom to pee. Pay says he and his friends were working out when the employee came over with two police officers telling them they had to leave. He claims the employee chided them while they were being escorted out saying, that's why you guys shouldn't be smoking in the restroom. Don't come here anymore. Pay says BSO grabbed him, separated him from his friends in response to him allegedly mouthing off at the staff. He recalls telling his friends to be patient because he thought it was all going to end smoothly. He was wrong. They waited near Pace outside the building while he sat in front of Keegan, who ordered them to stay back, keep a few feet away from Pace. I'm thinking that when the rest of the police come, they will hear me out and realize that this situation isn't as big as how it's being made out to be, Pace adds. We never did anything, but that is not how it ended up going. Pace says that even though he paid to enter the gym and complied when he was asked, <laughs> To leave, the deputy advised him he was being detained for trespassing. It's rich. Pace claims Keegan told him he could not call anyone. Pace disagreed, saying it was within his rights to do so. Still seated, he tried to hand his cell phone to a friend. It's when the deputy pounced violently, pulling him to the ground. 22 year old was transported to jail, spent the day behind bars. Charges are listed as unfiled in the county docket, meaning state prosecutors may not have made a decision on whether to pursue the case. Pace's group received permanent trespass warnings, which bar them from returning to the gym per BSO. Because yeah, they feel really welcome. They really wanna go back, they don't wanna go back there. Here's a statement from the Broward Sheriff's Office. Per BSO policy, district command and training division are already reviewing the arrest to determine the force used was consistent with agency training and policy. And also claimed in the statement that the group was loud, argumentative, and caused a disturbance. Okay, is that in the penal code? Maybe, not what I saw, but there's more. The department has had past history of excessive force in 2019. You may remember two deputies were charged with battery after they were recorded pepper spraying then 15 year old DeLuca Roll, smashing his face into the ground outside of McDonald's in Tamarack. One deputy had his charge dismissed, the other exonerated at trial this past July, even though we all see it. We all see it. So Jackson, an employee with no evidence except, you know, he, he senses something, he smells something. He says they're smoking weed in the bathroom. Cops come, it turns violent by the police. They charge 22 year old with resisting arrest. I don't know what more one could do in this situation to avoid being choke slammed to the ground. Well, I mean, 
you know, the thing is, is it's like, even if they're, they did smell smoke, it, when police overreact like this, it's like, do you really care that much about the subject at hand, the incident, or are you just taking advantage of an opportunity to, you know, rough up somebody you perceive as a problem? Because, you know, obviously these kids were just sitting there, let alone, even if they weren't, y'all got guns. There's multiple of you, y'all got nightsticks, y'all got bulletproof vests, tasers, and y'all are grown and they're not. Um, but it's always, you know, you see like they're always so bent on being in perfect control of not just the situation, but everybody there. Mm -hmm. So any anytime anybody has any spark of free will, then that's their cue. You know what I mean? So that that that's all that's going on because I'm in Missouri right now. You know, marijuana was just passed recreationally legalized in Missouri. Don't nobody care mm. about weed no more, and neither does that police officer. He don't care about no weed. You know what I mean? So it's just you get these people and you know these these black people, these these bad kids who go around causing problems. Mm. You know, shut up, stay there, don't say anything. And again, you show any yeah. type of free will. They're gonna beat you down. And isn't that the rub? Okay, the staffer didn't want these black kids in in the gym, okay? And was I'm watching you. He couldn't exactly borrow them from the start. They paid their money, but I'm watching you, okay? And the first thing he could make up or pretend he, you know, this investigative employee, you you really want to be employee of the month. He goes after him. And what do you make of this? Because Loud and argumentative. I guess a disorderly conduct. I guess you'd get a charge. But how come these Karens never get choke slammed? They're loud. They're argumentative. Sometimes they're arguing with themselves. How come they don't mm -hmm. get choke slammed? Well, they they see them as more human, more good. They see, you know, that's a woman maybe. So we shouldn't, you know, slam her. She's going through something, or not even a woman. It could be some kid who just ran up in a church. And shot up a bunch of people, or ran up in a, in a in a supermarket or a school and shot up a bunch of people. They may get them a cheeseburger or something. Yeah. So it's all in how you perceive somebody. You know, obviously everyone is a human being. You know, so you you can choose to see the humanity in someone if you'd like or not. That's all it comes down to. And that's the choice. That's the choice here. And the statement that they're investigating. You know, nobody wants to be prejudged, but. Aren't you tired? Our eyes see what we see, man. There was no reason to grab him off the wall and slam him to the concrete. When do we get to a point where our eyes see what our eyes see? Because we just had the update outside the McDonald's exonerated. One of the charges dismissed against the officers, the other one exonerated by a jury, by a jury of your peers. Police are up here, given the benefit of the doubt. People they victimize, boys an uphill battle. They're allowed to make mistakes, you know, and I'm so or, or quote unquote mistakes, you know, so because they uphold the peace and the protection. So if they make a mistake, you know, if they kill somebody a couple of times, it's you know, it's just part of the job. Just part of the job.